So when you detect the expression of this gene, it's sort of an indication that these neuroplastic events is going to happen. And so what you can do is you can say, give a mouse a drug like psilocybin or put it in a novel environment, whatever it may be. You can then look for what, where, you know, where, what parts of the brain, what neurons are expressing this gene. And that's an indicator that uh, there's some kind of neuroplasticity likely happening in those regions. So you've done that experiment with drugs like psilocybin, yes? Yes, yes. Uh, so we've give, given uh, animal one dose of psilocybin, and then uh, two hours later, we would harvest the brain tissue. And then uh, we would basically stain and look at where the CFOS response uh, occur. And the advantage for this measurement is that um, you can do it in high resolution, but you can also do it high resolution across the whole brain. Uh, so it's a little bit different than uh, the previous uh, discussion on trying to measure the dendritic spines. Here we can look at the CFOS changes in the whole mouse brain. Um, so in one of the prior study, uh, we gave animal different drugs. Um, uh, we gave them ketamine and psilocybin. And more recently, we even gave them eight different drugs. And then, uh, so different animal, different drugs. And then uh, uh, ask, just ask, you know, how does this induce this different kind of gene expression pattern in different areas in the mouse brain? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically you can give an animal a drug like psilocybin or other drugs. You can wait some time, a couple hours, whatever it may be. And then you can, in some sense, literally freeze the brain in time and then look yep. in the brain. You can slice up the brain and look everywhere in the brain and see and count and literally look at every single neuron that shows this transcriptional signal that indicates that the drug induced some kind of uh, transcriptional change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think the, you know, the study have been quite interesting in terms of what it reveal. Uh, one thing that it reveal is that there are probably, again, more things that are alike between drugs like ketamine and psilocybin than what we think. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of where the CFOS response, uh, it increases. 